Well, I have another coyote right here. We are down here in Louisiana. And as you can see, this is a big wide open area. So I have this coyote here. Uh, the, this in particular spot that I had picked, which you can't see now because the coyote has tore it up, but this field edge runs this way, runs that way with an intersection right in the middle. And um, so with everything looking alike, what we picked for this spot here was a tuft of grass that had come out a little farther than any of the other areas. So that's uh, particularly why I picked this area. Uh, just a basic flat set with, a, with some brush um, that I used for backing. So anyway, cut a nice coyote. I'm really, really happy I've got this. And uh, down here trapping with Mr. Nick Ernie. And so what do you think, Nick? I think that the one I got right up there is <laughs> bigger and nicer than yours. Of course you do. <laughs> so pretty cool. We have a double at this location and um, pretty fun driving up and seeing, seeing both coyotes here. Of course, we saw the, the better one here. The better catch is obviously right here <laughs> with caught him on heartbreaker and desire. So we will take care of this coyote and I'll show you the remake here. And then we'll go down and check, check out Nick Ernie's coyote down there. So here's the coyote that I call it. Uh, trench type dirt hole. Just throwing stuff at him, Seth. Good location, intersection. Ditch, we got some brush over there. really different trapping down here in this big flat country with no structure. Basically, if you can find any structure, you have got them. So, yeah, we're going to take care of this coyote and remake the set. All right, got the coyote taken care of and going to do the remake. The remake is never as good as when you originally set it, I don't think, but we'll do the best we can. Everything changes when you got to catch circle. So we're going to dig the trap bed back out. You may have noticed I switched traps out. You always want to be sure your equipment is working, working real good. And that trap had issues, so it's headed back to the shop to get fixed up. So I have a fresh trap. I'm using underalls for a pan cover. Get that trap in. Nice and solid. trap there and the original set like I said when I had picked this location this particular area had a bunch of grass that had come out farther than anything else and that's what caught my eye so I gathered up some more of that grass here the wind blows out here as well so I'm gonna put this little rock on here and kind of hold some of that grass down Kind of make it a uh, flat set with some grass. Welcome back to Trapping Across America TV. Trap there. And the original set, like I said, when I had picked this location, 
This particular area had a bunch of grass that had come out farther than anything else, and that's what caught my eye. So I gathered up some more of that grass here. The wind blows out here as well, so I'm gonna put this little rock on here and kind of hold some of that grass down. Kind of make it a flat set with some grass, whatever that's called. That's what I'm, see what I mean? It's, it's blowing out here. So, this one. All right. For bait, well, huh. a little hole here. I'm gonna use Heartbreaker, which is a predator bait. Just gonna stick that right down the hole. And then for the lure, I'm gonna use Desire, which is a gland lure. Just not much out here in this open, open country. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that on one of those rocks there. Okay, and then just lastly, I'm just gonna kind of back out of the catch circle here a little bit. Kind of brush, brush out some of my tracks that have been in here. The smell is already here. That coyote has already done the work for you. Uh, there's some, you know, some scat here, some urine. So the, the coyote already has has it smelled up pretty good, which is the most natural of attractants that you can ask for. But that's all I'm going to do here. Simple remake, and uh, we're going to get on down the line.